Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 25 and in previous few lectures we have learned a lot about while loops and for loops. Uh, there are some uh, important keywords that are break a keyword and a continue keyword which we use in while loops and uh, for loops. So let us uh, understand how these keywords work in today's video. So let's get started. So uh, first of all, let us understand uh, what a keyword is means what is the meaning when I say uh, a keyword. So a keyword is nothing but Python is a set of keywords means a specific set of words that are uh, reserved words that cannot be used as a variable names a function name or any identifiers a function uh, you don't know that's okay uh, we'll be talking about functions in the next video uh, but as of now you can just understand understand it as a just that uh, they cannot be used for a variable names right for example there are few words which have we have been using that or and or if else none true false break continue so uh, let us see some example if they can uh, really can't take uh, can't be uh, used as a variable name so let's uh, let let me use if as a variable i want to store a string name uh, let's say scratch is my string name if i execute this cell this gives me error because this if is a reserved word if it is already a keyword it cannot be used as a variable similarly if i go for break and I, I want to store 78 76 here then it will again give me an error similarly if I go for a uh, continue this will give me an error this cannot be used as a or and similarly if I go for and and I input a string let's say string in string it will again give me an error but as I have told you that Python is a, a what we say a case sensitive language so if small and is a keyword but if we use a capital A and and then this will be uh, this will not give me any problem this can be used as a variable so now if I print and it will give me a it will it will print down the string whatever it has stored and so uh, this is a basic thing about keywords what keywords are uh, let us now uh, see what break and continue keywords are so break keyword uh, let us see uh, I want to I have already written down a code here that for i in range 3 to 10 print i now you know what it will print down it will print down the values from 3 to the end of a uh, 9 so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it will print down this way great it is printing the uh, printing the result as expected 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now let me introduce a break keyword in 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 this code in this very code what i'll do is I'll just break I'll just write break here before the printer inside the for loop now let's see what happens so it is printing nothing so what break does is what break is doing as the name suggests it is breaking down the loop it means whenever the loop has encountered the break keyword it will stop the loop there right uh, for example let uh, now what we do I have input the break here now if I see the this, I input this break here and I remove it from here now what happens so this time what is happening it is when the value of i is 3 it is going to this line no break is in between it is print the i but as soon as it goes to next step it has encountered the break so it has been stopped there now so it will not go again to the value of i when y i equals to 4 so this is how a break keyword works right uh, one more thing to uh, to make you understanding more more better way what i can do is let me take this and I'll just print a uh, I'll just print a random line outside the for loop this is not inside the for loop I'll just print that okay this is the random line okay so how it will help us is that whenever the for loop will uh, exit whenever the for loop will be will be stopped after that it will print this random line okay for uh, for example i haven't included a break keyword now no break keyword is there in our 
for loop See, this is our code so what will happen it will print down to 3 to 9 and after that the loop has been ended after that it will print down that this is the random line execute the code this is how it is happening this is how i told you right that 3 to 9 it is printing the results of the for loop and because the loop ends at 9 now it will print whatever it, there is outside of the loop now what i do is sorry now what i do i go there again i'll make a new code cell here now i enter the break keyword here right so now let's see what is happening now this is just giving me this line that this is the random line why this is happening is because the value of i is 3 now it is starting from 3 it is going it is going to new step as as soon as it entered the new step it has encountered the break so the for loop will break here for loop will stop here it will not go to the next line which is uh, which is assisting the print function okay so break only it ends here and after the ending of loop whatever we have it will get printed that is this is the random line now what if i go to if i remove this break from here i i write this break here now what happened just uh, just pause the video and guess what happens in your mind that as uh, let's see then see now what is happening now our value of i starting from 3 goes to the next line it is printing the next line is printing the value of i that is it will print 3 but as soon as after it is entering the new line it is a break so it will it will ask python to break the for loop so break loop uh, for loop will be break down here and hence whatever after that the loop whatever there is it will print down that one so this is how a break function works now a similar way uh continue works uh, i'll tell you how continue works in the in the next code cell let's uh, let's take an example of break keyword right down here so i have a code i'll rewrite i'll rewrite it so for example i have a code i i just want to break the loop as soon as it encountered the value of 8 so for that what i can do is if i equals to 8 see i have used a double equals to because if i becomes equal to 8 means i becomes equals to 8 what i'll do after the colon i'll just input here break and then uh, exit the if uh, if statement block if block and then be, now we are inside the for loop now print i so what is the what this is doing what i'm asking uh, the code python to do is that i is 3 okay i is 3 this condition becomes false so it will ignore this one and it will print i equals to 3 now it will go as again i becomes 4 this condition is false so it will not uh, take any care of if block whatever there is it will go to print i that is it will print 4 as soon as going 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 but as soon as i becomes 8 this equation this becomes true and hence it will go to the if block so whatever in if block is there it will uh, do it so it is now i am asking uh, if block to break the loop so it will break the loop and hence I'll, it will not print the value of 8 now and no now the loop has been break so it will not go to 9 as well the loop will loop will break down at 8 as soon as we encounter the i equals to 8 so 3 is printing down 4 is printing down 7 is also printing down this is what we are doing now for example just I'll change it to now 5 now what I'm asking is as soon as I becomes 5 just break down the loop see so it will just enter 3 and 4 5 is not there so if I change the value here if I becomes okay now let me uh, raise the value here let's say I do it for 14 if I equals to 7 again I'll see what happens 3 4 5 6 three four five six at seven it is breaking the loop and hence no further uh, taken has been a further assistance has been done for better clarity once again i can just add a random line outside the loop for loop i'll just write add, uh, this is end of the loop let's say this is the end of the loop so if i let's say i'll comment down these lines now what is happening is i am asking just i to print down all the values between 3 and 13 this is my for loop as of now and after the for, after the 
end of the loop that is after printing the value of 13 that is the last value uh, it will print down whatever there is uh, afterwards uh, outside the for loop that is this line this is the end of the loop if i run this code it will print down all the values to 3 to 13 and after that this is the end of loop but now if i include this in my code so my uh, now what should happen is my uh, for loop will break down at 7 so 7 will not get print down here so it will up to 6 so 3 to 6 and after that for loop has been breaked and after that this line will get printed because this is after the for loop so this is happening right if i go to 10 9 it will not it will print down till 8 only because as soon as i equals 9 it will break the loop and it will not print this function so this is how a break fun a break keyword works now let's see uh, the use of continue keywords i'll use the same example same example here only i'm not going to the new cell what i can do is i am just i'll I'm just changing break i'm just replacing the break keyword with continue keyword okay continue now if i run this example so what continue does is continue will skip that value means if i say let's see the let's see the results so what is happening here is it is going to 3 it is done 4 is done 5 done 6 done 7 done 8 done but as soon as i becomes equal to 9 as soon as i becomes equal to 9 what i am saying to python is just to continue it means just continue from here only so what it will go from here only this time this will instead of going to this line the print line it will just directly go from continue to a new loop it will start again the looping will start again from the continue keyword it will not go further of the whatever there is after the continue and when the for loop uh, will when the for loop will end here means at 13 so after that our loop is ending so this is this will get printed because this is out of the loop this is the end of the loop so this is how uh, we can use break and continue word for example let's say i write here three only so my i is starting from three only and i have continuing the three here so it means it will not print down the 3 it will go from 4 to 13 right same happening because at i3 i am i have asked the python to continue so if for what continue means is it will directly go to for loop once again without going to this print line without going to this print line okay so now let us now i hope you are clear what break and continue keywords do and let's see one example of uh, break keyword in a while loop okay so i have uh, okay let me delete this down i'll just copy this i have written it for my assistance i'll help you uh, i'll explain you why uh, i'm doing this okay now this is something uh, new which you have seen here while to what does it mean says whenever we write a while loop what we do is we give a condition right let's say while um, while i less than equal to 5 sometimes anything we give this condition so what this basically means is that while this condition is true we'll do the following functions whatever written uh, below this while loop inside this while loop right so we have uh, we have what we have done here is we have already used the word true that is a boolean true so it means the condition is always true right so instead of true you can what you can also write here is you can also write two less than three it will be also always true you can also write uh, nine eight uh, eight is greater than two this will be also true so basically they mean same thing what i'm doing is i'm just making this condition true always so this is i'm doing here so while true porosity what i'm doing is I'm, i have created a variable inside this while loop and i've asked the input use the input function that enter a porosity value and i've converted into a float already because the porosity value will be in some amount of decimals so if I run this code see what happens now enter a porosity value it is asking me a porosity value what i'll do is i'll write 0.56 so it should it should be have been stopped by right now right but it is not stopping because because this uh, whatever we are asking we it is inside while loop and that while loop is true always so it will keep running it will keep running to amount of infinite times i will just enter any values let's say this one this one this one it will keep asking me question it will not stop it will not stop 
so to make it stop to make it stop what we do is uh, we'll have to give some conditions i'll have to manually stop it here i'll have to give some conditions let's say i'll i'll make use of if and else condition so what i if my if statement will be that if this porosity give this porosity variable is less than equal to 0.6 what i want to print is you have entered a realistic porosity value not 0.6 i'll just write it here 0.4 only because in real words the porosity is not about uh, means not uh, greater than 40 percent most of the cases and in the else condition what i'll do is else just print value of porosity is unrealistic great now let's see what happens this time Let, let's run the code i just entered any value above 0.4 let's say i went to 5 it is saying that value of porosity is unrealistic okay i have a given a space between unrealistic now it is asking me a porosity value again uh, let's say this time i write 0.9 it is again saying me a value of porosity is unrealistic let's say this time i am saying 0.6 so it is although we have given some conditions of if and else but it is still not stopping because we haven't given any statement in python in this code to stop the code so what we can do is we can do here we can add a break keyword right so what it means is that whenever the value of porosity we are entering is less than equal to 0.4 it will just uh, say it will just say me that you have entered a realistic porosity value and afterwards it will break it means not ask me any further question okay but okay let me give you an example here only In, uh, instead of break we haven't included break here even if i enter 0.1 that is this condition is true that is less than equal to 4 this time it will not stop it will again uh, ask me again value even though my porosity value is realistic it has not stopped it will keep asking me questions so i'll have to make a change in my code to stop it right so what i'll do is that's why i'm entering a break here break now see what happens let me uh okay just a second uh, this is an indentation problem so this will come right down the print if block now what i do i enter any value random value this will say me value of porosity is unrealistic i say this one this is also unrealistic value i say 0 0.9 it will again give me value of uh, value value of porosity is unrealistic but as soon as i enter any value for this condition true it means uh, let's say i enter 0 0.2 now it is showing me that you have entered a realistic porosity value and now it has stopped it is not further asking me more and more questions so what is what is happening here is inside this this break is inside this if block right so if this condition becomes true these two things will happen so it will first enter uh, it will first print down this line and after that it will make use of this break and hence our program stops there right there so i hope i'm uh, i have done i have done uh, uh, enough about enough for this video and in the next video we'll see about a uh, new topic which is a functions what are functions and functions and how uh, they can be useful for us so i'll see you in the next video thank you for joining